Well, hey there, everyone. Steve Villanueva here. A new tornado watch box has been issued from Jacksonville through, uh, looks like, just to the west of Charleston and up into parts of the Carolinas as well. A strong line of thunderstorms moving across the panhandle. That's where right now we do have severe thunderstorms in effect. Notice all of these boxes right here. That is a long line of severe thunderstorms. Earlier, we had tornadoes into Tallahassee and into Panama City, and it's this tail end of the front right here that will eventually work its way into South Florida as we head into the evening hours. For now, ahead of that system, lots of clouds around, but not much rain in the forecast. And even when the thunderstorms come through, it's not going to be a big rainmaker for us. What we're looking for are damaging winds, especially this evening. Otherwise, right now, there's a live look outside. The wind's really cranking up the seas. We do have a high surf advisory in effect and a gale warning in effect, too. Now, we also have that wind advisory ahead of the front that's approaching wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Right now, wind sustained at 30, but notice into the Palm Beaches, we do have a wind gust of almost 40, and the winds will only intensify as this front moves through as we head towards the evening hours. But by midnight, it pulls away from us, and behind it, high pressure builds in. So as we head into tomorrow, we're looking at a much nicer day. But this evening, as the front approaches, most of the area under a slight risk of severe weather, that's a tier two risk level, and that for us means we could be dealing with some scattered strong thunderstorms with a few isolated tornadoes too. The biggest threat, again, not the rain because it's going to be fast moving, but it will be the wind. We're talking winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Those are damaging winds that can knock down trees and power lines. We could also have hail, lightning, and we can't rule out a few tornadoes too. So it is going to be very active. The timeline between about 7 p.m and about midnight. But ahead of that system, a south wind will bring in very warm and very muggy air. And then you can see the line of thunderstorms approaching around 8 p.m. from Indian River County, Okeechobee County. And then as the night goes on, around 10 o'clock, the thunderstorms are moving through the Palm Beaches. And then by midnight, all of this clears. Now for you boaters, with those strong winds, we do have a gale warning in effect. Seas up to about 12 feet. Inland waters will be rough. Today, heading into the lower 80s, a very windy day, late day thunderstorms as that front approaches. Tomorrow, a much nicer and cooler day. A few showers for Thursday, and then here comes another front on Saturday.